This video is sponsored by Ren. More on that later. Hi, happy Monday. The city of dreams, the world of of dreams. That's Disney. I don't know a lot about Disney. I, I've been to the parks a few times, but you know, I had a good time. I, I think now you have to spend, you know, a, what is it, like a third of your salary? That's for uh, an engagement ring. But I think for Disney parks also, in order to have an actual decent time where you're not standing in line all day, I think a third of your salary is probably a good price to set if you don't want to be standing around a bunch of sweaty families who are trying to get on the freaking small world ride to have a bunch of puppets staring at them with those beady eyes. There's a lot of reasons to be mad at Disney. They suck. They're a bad company. They're trying to monopolize every industry that they can get their grubby little fingers into. But one thing that people seem to be mad about that I'm not really that mad about is the fact that they're too woke, apparently. Yes, apparently Disney's too woke. That's the new issue, is that they, they're, they're helping out minorities and, and disenfranchised people who are discriminated against too much. Apparently now, instead of saying ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, they're just saying dreamers. <laughs> How messed up is that? What? You think I'm a dreamer? I'm a man. I'm a boy. I'm, I, I am, I'm straight. I'm straight. And I'm no fan of Disney, but I don't really care if they're just pulling identity politics into things. I'm going to Disney to have a fun little ride. I couldn't care less if they call me a dreamer or a man or a little mouse that runs around and gets little bite, bit, bit, bits of cheese. But some people, some Disney adults seem to be a little bit upset about this scenario that has been brought to to the tippy tops of their heads. And so today we are going to look at a reaction I had to a video on twitch.tv slash Nick is not green, where I look at a couple of Disney adults who are pretty peeved about these new changes that Disney is making to their parks. And I think the husband like rips up his Disney shirt by the end of it. I don't know if we ever got to that part of the video, but that's funny. I love the idea that people will get so mad that they'll start breaking their own shit. Imagine if I got so mad at Disney that I just spent my own money to to burn their stuff. Like, I don't, I don't think they care that much. And it all boils down to the fact that, you know, whatever political side you're on, I don't care if you believe things should be more inclusive or stay the same. It doesn't matter what you believe. I think we should all agree that it doesn't matter when someone like Disney does it. It doesn't mean anything. It's just politics. It's just to help their business. If they do something you don't agree with, you shouldn't piss and scream and cry. And if they do something that you do agree with, you you shouldn't really care because they don't actually agree. They don't, no matter what they do, they don't care. Until it, you, you should only care once it actually makes a difference in your life. If they're pushing policies and putting money into politics that actually hurt you and your identity and people in your community, you have every right to be upset. But if they're just calling kids dreamers in the park, that's not changing anybody's life. No one is feeling any different about that, right? So at the end of the day, do not celebrate for a corporation if they do the right thing because they don't actually care, it's just for politics. And if they're doing something that you don't agree with politically and it's not really affecting anybody either, like they're just being dumb, then you shouldn't care either. They're lifeless husks of billions and billions of dollars that don't actually mean anything. It's all board meetings. Anyways, that's enough rambling from me. I'm gonna go race off, so go go watch the video now. Today we're talking about a Christian couple. Someone emailed this to me, Fathia. Shout out to Fathia. Hopefully I'm saying What's that up, right. Man? Paul and Morgan. Christians react to Disney will no longer use words boys and girls at theme parks. Wow, that is really a... Uh, you're really gonna change everything now when it comes to this stuff do i think it's corporate bullcrap yeah it's all the disney doesn't give a shit about whether or not we they use boys or girls at a theme park it's all press and no one actually cares about these things no one's ever complained about it right and i assume most people in chat think okay and, and then it ends there so when i hear that disney will no longer use boys and girls at theme parks i say okay I don't care. Why would I care? It doesn't change anything. And then I see videos like this that we're pretending like we care about it. Like Disney actively donates to causes that are anti-LGBTQIA+. And these people have posted a 30 minute video, I've realized, is not a Mako says in chat. How do they make a 30 minute video about this? What can they possibly be talking about? So let's watch it. Let's see what happens. Guys, how you doing? I'm Paul. I'm Morgan. And we talking about Disney, baby. Okay, cringe start, no no problem. Let's keep watching. Yeah, Disney will no longer use words 
boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, at their theme parks here in America. Not sure what they're doing worldwide, but here in America, it is out with the old, in with the new, and by new, we're talking gender fluidity. Oh boy. I don't think that's what gender fluidity means, right? If they if they stop using binary pronouns. <laughs> you see what I'm wearing? This is my Disney shirt that my mom bought me about four years ago at Walmart. Mm -hmm. God bless you. And here's the catch. <laughs> I wore this very intentionally. The catch is this. As we talk about this, Morgan and I will often bring a kind of an openness, even though we may have our position on a topic, we'll bring a little openness because okay. this is a conversation with Morgan and I, with you guys. I, at the end of this, I might be like, okay, I feel, you know what? I feel okay to wear this shirt and I'll keep wearing it. Or I might, depending on how this goes, rip it in half. So you're gonna have to stay- Whoa. Why do you own a Disney shirt in the first place? And if your mom bought it for you, who cares? Who cares about any of this? What makes you upset about this? Even if they take away the boys and girls, that doesn't mean suddenly they're like, oh, no one can be a boy or girl. Yeah, it's just baffling to me that they even care. I think you could still go on rides when you go. I don't think you usually go because they use the words boys and girls at theme parks, right? Unless they do. Maybe they do go to the park specifically because they use the term boys and girls at the theme park. Tune to the end of this video because literally one of those two options is happening. One of the two options is happening. Yeah, I would assume. You either rip the shirt off or you don't. I don't think there's even a third option that could happen. Oh, dear. Yes. I don't know if you're going to be able to rip it in half. So that's how much you, that's what you think of your husband. You're in pain. You're back. You think I look Don't like strain yourself. You think I look like scrawny Pinocchio? <laughs> Disney reference. That's supposed to mean. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I... yo, he was low key hurt by that. I guess we'll find out when her shirt says save the babies, by the way. Happens, but before we do. It's a pro-life shirt. Do, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We make videos on culture, social issues, and the church from a Christian perspective to help you have a Oh, awesome, and dude. Free. They, they said, we are trained, we've trained our workers yeah. to not use- Excuse me, workers? I think you meant to say cast members. Thank you very much. Boys and girls, and we've also changed, for those of you Disney fanatics in the live chat, we've changed the, I guess they have like an, automated thing they play during the fireworks yeah it used to say ladies and gentlemen boys and girls and what do they have now they've scrapped that i don't know and it's now it's something like hello dreamers <laughs> and that's why we watched the fireworks presentation because they said ladies and gentlemen at the beginning like literally it's all it's literally all just press shit they like you shouldn't take anything seriously that any of these companies say. Um, I want to see like the actual press statement of what Disney said about this. All of the um, gendered greetings in relationship to our life skills. So we no longer say ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Um, we, we've trained, we, we've provided training for all of our, our cast members in, in relationship to that. So now they know it's, it's hello everyone or hello friends. We, we are in the process of changing over those those recorded messages, and so many of you are probably familiar when we brought the fireworks back to the Magic Kingdom. We no longer say ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we say dreamers of all ages. And so I love the fact that dreamers it's opened up the creativity, ages. the opportunity for our cast members to look at that. We, we have our cast members working with merchandise, working with food and beverage, working with, with all of our guest facing areas where perhaps, you know, we, we want to create that magical moment with our cast members, with our guests. And we don't want to just assume because someone might be um, in in our interpretation, maybe presenting as female, that they may not want to be called princess. I mean, it does from from an audience perspective. There is part of it that makes sense because it's like if you're trying to do the best thing you can do for your audience, at least if there are kids that are going to go there and they don't want to be referred to. And this is specifically for this instance. I don't give a shit about any of this. But specifically for this instance, if a kid doesn't want to be called a goddamn princess, then like obviously Disney's customer is to make this, their, their plan is to make this child happy so the parents spend more money at Disney's parks. Do they care if the kid actually wants to be called princess? Of course not. They don't give a shit. But in their best interest, will it help for them to, you know, have different things to call these children so they want to actually feel welcomed at the park and then their parents want to spend more money and then Disney will eat your family and take your house and 
turn you all into Pinocchio. But it doesn't change anything. But like, yeah, it matters from a, like from a business perspective. It makes sense. So you can't be mad that they're doing something that is obviously going to help Disney. And also, who cares? No one cares. It doesn't matter. They're a fuck. They're they're a corporation. They said dreamers of all ages. How does that make you feel unwelcomed? I'm a dreamer. You're a dreamer. That this <laughs> is what they want. And you see in the other videos, um, and we'll I'll, I'll look at uh, what well, one of these other guys said there. I mean, they're literally and they probably didn't want this video getting out like it has. And I'm very thankful for it. It's just kind of a wake up call of, OK, what do you mean they didn't want the video getting out. It's a live press conference. It's public. We see what Disney's plan is, what they're already starting to implement. Now, parents, you get to decide. Yeah. And single people, married people, whatever you get to decide. Do you want to support Disney? Um, here was another one. Can you find that picture, Morgan? Most people, they don't think about whether or not they're going to support Disney. They just live their lives. And if Disney makes something they want to see, they're going to watch it. They're, no one thinks like this. Like, stop being weird. Till now, 2022, what is your favorite Disney movie? I just want to see what wins the day right now in the comment section. Favorite Disney movie. What is yours, Morgan? Does Pixar count? If Pixar counts, then I'm going to say... Uh, Incredibles, of course, because that used to be my favorite movie. All that's my second favorite movie of all time. Some people, someone said Robots. That Disney Trek. That's DreamWorks, but close. <laughs> you can only pick one. from Pixar is definitely There Will Be Blood. One. Oh, that's great. Comment that's below. Really comment. Hard but tangled. Comment below. Wow, tangled. Yeah. Tangled. Okay. These guys suck. I'm gonna go with. Man, I mean, there were some powerhouses in the 90s. Oh, yeah. and even before that. I think the movies in the 90s, like all those old ones, I think they're overrated because of nostalgia. They gotta be boring, right? They're not like, they're, they're not doing cool shit. They're just sort of talking. Powerhouse is such a funny term to me in this context. Yo, there's so many powerhouses. You got Cinderella, Snow White, Rakakuni. Anyone know that reference? But if I just had to pick one Disney movie, <sighs> Mulan or Aladdin. Mulan or Aladdin, Aladdin. <laughs> But Mulan is a movie that subverts gender roles. You can't like that, right? <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. Which is why I picked Aladdin, because it's another movie where a, a guy and his genie go and save a princess. I don't know what Aladdin's about. I haven't seen it in 10 years. Let's take a second to talk about today's sponsor for the video, Ren. Our planet is dying and it's getting harder and harder to figure out how you specifically can help. Corporations and billionaires have no remorse for destroying our climate and they're doing more damage than we can really fix. So it's hard to understand how we can actually make a reasonable change through all of this. The fight may very well be out of our hands, but there still are smaller things that you can do to help and feel better about your contribution. That's where my friends at REN come in who have funded really amazing projects like piloting new carbon capture technology in Scotland, providing thousands of farmers with supplemental income, and helping to plant 20 million trees around the world. Using REN's website, you can calculate your carbon footprint and then offset it by directly funding these projects that will plant trees, protect rainforests, and suck carbon from the sky. You just answer a few questions about your lifestyle, you figure out your carbon footprint, and REN even gives you the option to offset what you have left after you reduce it by funding funding these projects. Once you make a monthly contribution, REN will actually send you monthly updates from each of these projects so you actually know what is happening with your money. Rather than throwing your money into one of those corporate charities where you never actually see the result, I feel like this is a better way where you could actually help and see where your money is going. It'll take a lot to end the climate crisis, so you can start today by going to REN.co to learn more. I've partnered with REN to plant 10 trees for each of the first 100 people to sign up using my referral link, so go in the description down below and use that link to help out. Thank you again to REN for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the fun. Read that headline, Morgo. Disney to remove all mentions of traditional gender roles at theme parks. Where did my lint roll? Oh, oh move. Uh, keep that up here, Morgan, just so they have a visual. As I'm just going to kind of skim through this. It's an article by Newsweek. You have all of these conservatives that maybe would be a little too quick to see these headlines and then not read into it at all and just just bash the crap out of Disney and so forth. I would rather do a little bit more of a slow roll with it. I would rather slowly um, become super transphobic than just come transphobic out of the gates. So we're going to slowly make our opinion towards the fact that we, we hate any inclusivity for people who aren't cis men and women. But tell me, like when you hear this, do an array with hello boys and girls, replacing it with this stuff. What What is your genuine reaction? 
If this were like literally the only thing that they were doing, I'd be kind of like, okay, whatever. You know, are they really, this might be their version of getting rid of gender, but <laughs> it's just like they're saying hello dreamers or hello friends, whatever. Um, so it's not that big of a deal or like, like this one dropping. thing if this is where stop it stopped and we didn't have these other there's gonna be like a video on my channel and i'm like brushing bambi and not even watching it video surface yeah. you would say oh not surprising yeah but you wouldn't necessarily let this be the thing that makes you rip the disney shirt and never go to a disney park correct that's interesting yeah i think just as we further discuss you guys will see <laughs> that people aren't um frustrated well they might be frustrated about this and that disney's doing this taking away their statement of boys and girls ladies and gentlemen but they're much more angry and frustrated and over it with the other things that were said in this meeting um through zoom and just but what like, are the other things the just like I just diabolical it. plans Ooh. to spread their agenda of the LGBTQIA plus plus pee pee poopa. Poopa. <laughs> um, oh, I'm sorry. We got some comedians here. <laughs> poopa. Uh, poopa. Poopa. Uh, oh. Sorry, it's just ridiculous. I'm sorry. It is just. It is. <laughs> sorry. I wonder if in the next two years it will have gone all the way through the alphabet. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. God, these people are the most boring people I have I've ever met. They have five of the same six, maybe, of the same potted plant, the same exact pot with nothing on it. To where it's literally <laughs> A B C D E F G H O J K L M O P like, and they will have something for every single one because it is it's growing. Probably yes, it's diabolical. How is it diabolical though? Can you explain how it's diabolical? W w like what part of it? Okay, that's a strong word, but it is. <laughs> In my opinion, it is them trying to- It's cause it's kids. Yeah. It's st They're literally starting at these young, malleable kids trying to figure out life they don't know. And suddenly you have one of the Disney execs in one of her videos saying, I have two, uh, what did she call it? I don't think that's up. Oh, is that up there? Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Yeah, see if you can figure out which. Nope. I might have to click on it. There it yeah, is. There we go. Um, and I, I screenshotted this and put what Jordan B. Peterson wrote at the top. But she's over here saying. she's So she's saying that I'm the mother of one transgender child and one pansexual child. Do they understand? I mean, how old are her children? I assume they're adults, right? Or they're at least like old enough. I think they're taking the, the idea of being a child is like this is a seven year old kid. No, she just has kids, and they're, and they're not cis straight people. That's a thing that happens. Sorry. And also, children aren't watching. Even if they were, obviously, this wouldn't matter. But in their argument, children aren't going to be watching Disney as execs talking about this shit. And as someone just said in, in chat, Agnes Crumplebottom, I love the hypocrisy of Christians with the moldable kids as if they don't, or malleable kids as if they don't groom them into their cults. I'm not, again, I always say this, I'm not going to... I don't want to boil Christians down into one generalized person, but what if we're going to talk about when when I talk about Christians, I'm I'm talking about evangelical conservative Christians. Mine real quick. She says, uh, uh, this Carrie Burke. Hold on, let me see. Carrie Burke slammed for saying son told her Gen Z is forty percent queer and Disney should get with it. That is hilarious. President of Disney's general entertainment, Carrie Burke, has come under fire after saying that her son told her the entertainment company should get better with the fact that Gen Z is 30 to 40% queer. Yeah. I assume her children, I want to figure out how old her children are because I know people are looking at it as if they are like six and seven, which still, who cares? Okay, let's keep watching this. I don't know how old their kids are. I assume they're adults. Disney corporate president, Carrie Burke says, as the mother of one transgender child and one pansexual child, she supports having many, many, many LGBTQIA characters in our stories and so forth. To me, I'm just like, you have a transgender child and a pansexual child? Mm -hmm. what, like, what type of social, societal pressure has to be put on, a, I don't know how old her children
the okay it's hard to not be like very angry at people like this because it's generally it's frustrating to watch people like physically revolt or like physically like be in disgust at the idea of someone who isn't a cis straight person not not only the fact that these aren't children like elementary school children which even if they were it, this is someone else's child you're talking about someone who has nothing to do with you w what part of this disgusts you enough where you even care like what for for myself at least in what situation does someone say hey my kid is blah 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 and i go oh what the hell i don't understand how you can possibly find yourself at the point where you really care so much about it where you feel the need to like show that to other people and it's crazy how many people in the country there are that feel that way but i see like in front of me people who are just disgusted because of someone else's kids and it's not even a kid it's an adult that lady's kids aren't like five years old and also the this is a, apparently the lore is that this guy is the victim of a uh like a gay conversion therapy camp or something so if anyone has to talk about putting pressure on kids to change their beliefs their sexual preference their lifestyle these are the people doing that because they're literally doing they have a channel where they are pressuring their children into believing that the only way forward is an evangelical conservative christian lifestyle and there's no other way paul didn't do conversion therapy someone said in chat pretty sure his girl to find that had the boyfriend who went through conversion therapy okay maybe it's them but what about this guys forget politically correct how about biblically correct so even besides the point that he wasn't in conversion therapy they still want to instill the idea in young kids that this is something that is not right you're doing the same thing that you get upset about from other people when people criticize your beliefs and you're like why can't i just be a christian and live my life and why are we put through this oppression and instead you're doing the same thing to other people because they don't believe what you believe they're anti-birth control too i actually ran into something earlier this week that was like anti plan b and i've had friends like christian friends in the past that i've argued with who have said that plan b is immoral and it's like do you think cum do you think actual cum ejaculate is a child like do you think that is a real person a real human because you know most of those things 99.9 .9 infinity percent of of sperm they don't turn into babies they don't turn into anything they die i'd love to find that part that's a video for another day now parents you get to decide yeah and single people married people whatever you get to decide do you want to support disney i don't care dude i'll watch incredibles 3 when it comes out i don't think there's gonna be an incredibles 3 unfortunately but you know and disney parks and new movies they're gonna take she is so bored like, this stuff is surfaced and you got a lot of people like True. i just saw Susanna says i canceled my disney plus pretty soon after it came out too much you're, they're going to take a financial hit. Dude, they're not, though. They aren't. It's Disney. No one cares. I hate Disney. To say that I, I, I do not support Disney and I hate them. Do I have a Disney Plus membership? Yeah. You know why? Because it doesn't matter. You know? At the end of the day, you can believe what you want to believe. And if you think that for you, you feel a moral obligation to cancel your Disney Plus service because you don't believe in Disney, that's okay. I understand that. For me, I don't give a shit. Okay, I'm going to have Netflix. I'm going to have Disney Plus. I'm going to shop on Amazon. You know why? Because none of this shit changes. All of these corporations are going to do the same thing until we actually implement and the government actually implements laws that change it because of the corporations. Until then, people can't do shit. It's the same thing with charity. It's the same thing with goddamn recycling outside of my apartment. None of it matters because the corporations are the ones that are affecting 99.99% of that shit and none of it is going to change depending on what you do. So at the end of the day, maybe it's a hot take. It doesn't matter if you if you shop with Amazon. It doesn't matter if you have Disney+. Plus. It doesn't matter if you, even if you go to goddamn Hobby Lobby. I hate Hobby Lobby and I will avoid going there. I'll go to Michael's instead. But guess what? If you shop there, nothing's going to change because we're all screwed because every corporation is owned by another corporation that's paid off by that pays the government off to keep them running. And that's the reason we don't have any of the shit that we actually want. I'm sorry if something makes your life better, but there is some sort of like ethical consumption question around it, like Amazon. Like someone just said in chat, you know, Amazon, the reason they're so popular is because of the convenience of it. And there are people that that cannot 
physically use other services and you know it sucks and amazon is the worst but guess what nothing nothing changes that's the upsetting part of it all is that i could i can throw away everything that i want to recycle for for the rest of my life and so and so could another million people and like the whole idea that like oh us us consumers can change the world if one person does it then and if everyone is that one person then it matters it doesn't matter i'm sorry but it really doesn't it's been proven again and again that uh if, if corporations do not change there is a, not a single thing we can do about it and i'd love to be able to actually do something about it disney plus i'm gonna keep watching moon knight basically is what i'm trying to say and you can do what you want to do like if you if it makes you feel better to recycle because it is a good thing and if it makes you feel better to boycott certain corporations, that's okay. Like with, with all that being said, you should still be supporting small businesses and donating to things that are being directly impacted by you. Because, you know, it does make a difference if one person buys something from a small business. That does make a difference. But if you're thinking about boycotting a corporation, nothing will ever change. Sorry. It's sad. There, there is good to be done. Okay, there is good to be done, but for the most part, don't let people shame you for for watching a Disney movie. Like people in chat are saying, don't worry so much about boycotting corporations as much as you're focusing on putting money and investing into small businesses and into your community and into mutual aid and into things that actually matter. But when it comes to something like Disney, don't don't act like you're doing something by boycotting a corporation because you're not. You're not better than someone because you're boycotting a corporation. Just like everyone burning their Nikes. Yeah, you're just ruining your own shit that you already bought. If anything, if you're ripping up shit that you already bought, you're doing worse things for the environment. Because the whole point of fast fashion is that the clothes don't last long enough before you either donate them or toss them in the trash. And it's so bad because they're making so many clothes that we have so much shit going on. I might not be like completely right about it, you know? There might be some gray areas in there of certain things that really can be affected by people. But guess what? I'm stupid and I don't know shit and I'm a normal person. And most normal people don't know anything about this stuff and they also don't care, which is why nothing's ever going to change because everyone at once isn't everyone at once isn't going to all stop consuming sheen products, you know? But that's uh, let's end the rant there. Well, I don't know what I don't know what this video is. Thanks for watching everybody. Go go check out some other videos and have a good day. Um that's it. Bye.